Did you know that commercial canned pumpkin puree is actually a blend of a variety of squashes? So when you're making pumpkin pie with your canned pumpkin, you're actually making squash pie. But that really doesn't have the same ring to it, now does it? I'm terribly sorry to have shattered all of your dreams. We can quickly pretend this didn't happen and move on. Hi everyone, I'm Liv and welcome to The Leopard Lodge. If you're new here, this is a channel dedicated to creative projects in the home. So today we are going to make our own squash puree, or if it makes you feel better, we can call it pumpkin puree, because you're going to need this for all of your fall and winter and holiday needs from pumpkin pie to pumpkin soup to pumpkin ravioli to pumpkin muffins and whatever else you do with pumpkin. That's your business, not mine. Of course, I wouldn't be me if I wasn't trying to do it from scratch. So I hopped on my bike and went to the farmer's market to check out what was growing in my area locally and what was in season. The place was teeming with beautiful fall bounty from persimmons to pomegranates to late season pumpkins, greens, music, children, and of course, a vast variety of boards, which is what we are here for. I wanted to buy everything as usual, even though I didn't have a cooking plan for it, so I tried to show some restraint, but I did find a couple of fun options for our squash puree. I packed up my bike basket with all of my purchases and enjoyed a lovely fall bike ride home. So, now that you've watched that majestic bike ride of mine, let's get to the puree. Procure several varietals of squash. I chose kabocha, red curry, butternut, and this other varietal that the seller told me the name of, but I don't remember what he said. But if you know, let me know. Some other great ones to look out for acorn, buttercup, hubbard, and of course your classic sugar pie. Cut everything in half and scoop out the seeds and pulp. You can save the seeds for roasting later if you would like. Line a baking sheet with parchment paper and place all of your halves flesh side down. Get everything in the oven and bake at 400 degrees for about an hour until the outer skin is soft to the touch. Mm. I wish you could all smell this right now. It smells so good. Set aside until cool enough to handle. Don't go burning yourself with hot squash. Nobody wants that. Working in batches, place the squash in the food processor and blend away. Add a little bit of water as necessary to get it as smooth as possible. You can store the puree in your fridge for up to a week, or freeze the puree until you're ready to use it up to several months. Or of course, use it fresh in a number of recipes. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed the content and found it helpful. It really helps to support my channel. There is a link in the description down below if you would like to buy me a pumpkin spice latte. Just kidding, I don't drink those, but no shame if you do. Um, it'll just be an oat milk latte for me. And stay tuned because we've got a lot more pumpkin squash content 
coming up for this winter season. Happy squashing. Bye. Happy squashing. Squash. That's not just going to be a word. One long word. Pumpkin squash.